Welcome, in front of me is a Oppo A79 and today I will show you how we can go to the setup process of this device. So, when you put it up for the very first time, you will be presented with the welcoming screen where you just get to press on the arrow and then find your desired language from the list. Now for me that is going to be English, so I'm just going to select next and then you can choose your region. So in here I'm going to be choosing English or well not English but US and then we can select continue and next we have some user agreement. So we do only need to agree to the first two ones so the user agreement and the privacy policy. Now if you want to read exactly what you're agreeing to you can click on these buttons right here. Then we have connect to mobile network. Now you do so by inserting a SIM card. Now this is an optional step, so you don't need to do so. And we can just select next, which will skip it. Next we have the Wi-Fi connection page, which again, just like the mobile network, it is an optional step and you can skip it. But, but by doing so, number one, date and time will most likely not be set correctly and you will need to fix it manually, which should be visible throughout the setup process. And then additionally, the Google login page will not show, out, show up throughout the setup process. So there we go. Now anyway, I'm going to select skip. You need to connect to an internet worker. Okay, apparently I need to connect to it, uh, which defeats the purpose of the freaking skip button. And why do I need to connect to it exactly? Uh, internet for the next... What next operation? Okay, so this is some of the bullshit that we, I guess we get to do nowadays. Um, we just have to connect to a network because smartphone is uh, as smart as the internet allows it to, apparently. So anyway, I'm just gonna connect to mine. It's not like I have a choice. There we go. Here we go, satisfied, go F yourself. Cool. Now we can go to the next page, finally. Now, the reason I have such a problem with this is because it's called a setup, not a pre-setup or predefined one. So you should be able to choose whatever you want. That's why it's an option. Uh, but for some reason, connecting to Wi-Fi nowadays is starting to not be an option. You either connect to it or you're never going to be using your device. Now, there is a possibility that this device is locked, though that makes no sense considering I did reset it through settings. So that should not be the case. And it's not. So we can select don't copy. Now the, the option there was to basically restore your device from a Google backup. I don't have one and neither do I want to. So I just selected don't copy. Now here we can sign into network or not network, but your uh, Google account, which I'm going to be skipping. I didn't want to log into Wi-Fi anyway, so that's a redundant step anyway. There we have some Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now you can disable all of them uh, if you want to. And then you can go to the bottom and select accept. Here we get to select our search engine. So we have basically the default ones like Google, Bing and all that garbage. Choose whatever you want. Next, we have unlocking method. So this is uh, basically a protection to your, for your device. Now, we have three different ways of protecting this device. One would be fingerprint, the second one is facial recognition, and then the third one would be pin, pattern, or password, whichever one you choose. Now, if you're planning to choose fingerprint or face recognition or both of them, you will always be also required to select pin, pattern, or password. Now, the reason for that is if something would ever happen to your face or your fingerprint, basically your biometric features, you would lose access to your device. Hence, that would leave the last option, which would be pin, pattern, or password, which wouldn't change no matter what happens to your biometric features. And additionally, if you don't want to protect your device, you can just skip it. Next, we have a review additional application. So uh, basically, Google wants to download and uh, install some dog shit applications on here. Uh, and there is stupid amounts of them. So yeah, we're going to say no thanks to all of them. Most likely, I would highly recommend doing that. And then we have the option to choose our navigation style. Now, I personally like gestures, so that's what I'm going to select, but it's completely up to you. Recommended. So we have auto update overnight, we have global search and we have quick uh, connect. So you can read what all of these are, disable them if you don't want them. For some reason, some of them like uh, auto update overnight is already turned off, which is 
weird. But anyway, I'm gonna just go to the next page and select get started and this will load me up to my home screen. And there we go, that's the device being fully set up. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.